Mining update, lesson about the industry and job hunt video. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and in today's video we're going to have a look at the prices around the industry. We're going to have a bit of a chat about, we're going to do a lesson about how the industry works. So I'm going to talk about the booms that we've had and the current boom that we're in and then we're going to do a job hunt video. So let's start with the gold price and the reason I'm starting with the gold price is because that's where all the action is at the moment and as you'll see it's still around that $3,500 an ounce Australian which is a ridiculous price and there's why there's so much um, stuff going on in the gold space at the moment. Next if we have a look at the coal price that's about $110 a ton US uh, it's down significantly from its highs so it used to be up around $400 a ton so at this price a lot of mines are marginal if not thinking about being mothballed and if we come over to uh, the iron ore price we've got $106 a ton for iron ore US and that's still a reasonably good price but just to show you how tight the market's gone in and how much everything's gone up inflation wise mineral resources has just announced that they're not going to be continuing on their um, Yulgarn iron ore, hu ore hub um, they'll on the, at the end of the year they're going to um, close it it's going to cost about a thousand jobs those people will get sucked up into the iron ore industry with the other big three players or the other big four players that are all looking for people at the moment but what that means is that you know with um, new starters to the industry a thousand experienced people all looking for jobs it's going to make it hard to get into the iron ore side of things so if we come over to our map and this is where all the gold and base metals mines are that are actually producing for batteries and gold around the country and this is where your jobs are the gold price is right up there copper's also quite high it's fourteen thousand six hundred and eighty nine dollars a ton and this is where you really should be looking at for your um, jobs so moving forward uh, the big job that everybody wants that's going to pay the most money is the jumbo operator job and those people are getting anything up to two and a half thousand dollars a day this is our pay rates and rosters you can find this in the new starters column over here on the um, underground training website there's lots of information on in this entry level new starters um, column so if you want to have a look through that you can as you can see there's lots of work around the country with all the mines that are here but the big thing is that with the current boom it's all about gold and copper whereas if you've heard a rumor that you know you need to go and get a TA job because TAs are making a hundred fifty to one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year I'm sorry to tell you this but that was the last boom in oil and gas and if you've heard the rumor that you're going to go and make a hundred and fifty thousand dollars driving one of the big dump trucks up north in the iron ore mines or in the coal mines again I'm sorry to tell you but that was the boom before it so that was in about 2005 to 2012 that's what people on the surface were getting paid for driving the great big dump trucks now you know most people are lucky to make 50 bucks an hour doing that or a little bit more unless you've been in the industry for a long time if you've been in the industry for a long time you might still be making that um, bigger wage because you've been there for a long time but if you've just gotten into it and you're just going through up through the ladder now unfortunately the ladder doesn't go very high with the surface jobs because they've been able to replace a lot of people with automation and that's driven the wages down and also like I said before at the start of the video with some of the mines shutting down like they are like this one and there's a few coal mines that have done the same thing on the eastern states the employers have got the choice of people so if you want a mining job the best place to be looking for a job is where the current boom is and where the where the current boom is is with gold and copper so that's where you really should be looking for those jobs so if you type underground into seek you'll see all the jobs come up there's lots all over the country so this is a new underground mine that they're starting up here they need expresses of interest for everybody um, northern star are always looking for people there's lots of work around for them You've got the um, underground truck and nippers um, near um, Adelaide. Now this ad asks for experienced people, but the truth is that anybody with the level of experience that these people are gonna want, 
aren't going to want a truck driver's job. They're going to want a service crew job because somebody with 12 months truck driving experience, if they're any good at what they're doing and they're switched on, they should be looking at a service crew or pace fill role. And there's more than enough jobs around for people to be jump, to jump into. So that's why we get people that have done the training. We encourage them to do this sort of um, job. The The best advice that I can give you is to make yourself an easy win for the mining employers. Here's a nipper's job in the gold fields. There's just work everywhere. If you can make yourself an easy win for the mining employers, that's the best way to get yourself a job. How do you make yourself an easy win for the mining employers? Learn about how their mine works. If you know how they drill it, how they blast it, how they bog it out, how they create the levels. If you can talk to them about stopes and headings and cap lamp signals and everything else that they need you to know, it just makes you makes you a huge easy win for the employers. So evolution's looking. Everybody's looking. They Everybody needs everything because of the price is so high but if we come over here and you can have a look at this article that we've got here we're in the Australian Mining Review this month and they've done an article on us talking about how we help people get in by education and it's making yourself an easy win for the mining employers that's what it's all about so we can have a look at the surface as well there's not that many jobs on the surface most of them are as far as it goes with drillers off siding they are looking for some experienced dump truck drivers around the place but any of the um the major um traineeships or anything like that that are going around at the moment most of them aren't paying very much money because they don't have to because they've got so many people lined up for these jobs so yeah so there's lots of work there as well we can have a look at the diamond drillers offsiders, so drillers offsiders. So there's lots of work with this one as well. And as we talked about the pay, this is one of the areas of the industry that's having to up the pay because um, they just need bums in seats. Uh, drilling off siding is one of those things that I tell people that they've got to like camping, especially if you're doing it on the surface. If you're going underground, it's a lot better because normally you're in a camp if you're an underground if you're on an underground site. Um, so they make you know you get your own room with an ensuite. They feed you. You don't have to cook for the uh, the driller and everybody else. You don't have to live in a caravan. So a lot of people like going the underground drills off siders path instead of the surface one. But if you like camping and like getting out bush and all that sort of stuff, then the surface drillers off siding is the way to go but again you know the easy way to make yourself an easy win for these employers is to learn how it all works and you can do that using the underground training and then lastly we can have a look at the utility and FIFO um, jobs and again you'll see there's a fair bit around because they just need people like everywhere else but they don't pay a lot of money unfortunately and one of the reasons that they don't pay a lot of money and we talked uh, I, I um, had a chat to somebody in the column comments on last week's video about the poaching rules the reason that people get stuck in these utility roles and they get stuck in shutdown work and all that sort of stuff is because of the poaching rules on most sites so if you go to site with a contractor as a utility and you want to jump over into the underground with the contractor over there then most of the sites have got written into their contracts that you have to go off site for six months before you can come back on site with a new employer and that just kills the um, the movement of people the, the first time I saw it come into place was in Taufa in um, 1998 they did it because you know they were losing too many people from the kitchen to the underground and so they brought that into place and that stopped that dead and it's pretty much stopped it dead from then on to now. So that's why, you know, as a full-time utility worker, you only get paid seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars a year. You don't get, you know, the bigger money that comes with the mining jobs is because, you know, the employers have got you trapped. It's really hard to make the move unless, you know, you're a very um, attractive person or a um, a very um, charismatic person. Um, sometimes they can make the move, but yeah, no. If you're just you know an ordinary, an, a mere mortal like myself, then you know chances are you'll get stuck in one of these utility jobs for about eighty thousand dollars a year because that's what happens to ninety five percent of the people. You'll see all the TikTok stars that say, oh, I went and did utility work for three months and all that sort of stuff. But then you'll see photos of them in their bikinis and all that sort of stuff. And you can ask the question legitimately how they made the way through. Um, yeah, you know, for, like I said, for us mere mortals, um, yeah, going from a utility job to a, um, a production mining job is a very rarity. And I've only seen um, very attractive or very charismatic people do it. So that's where that sits. Um, you can come over to our uh, Mining Jobs to Apply For page. This is the page where we load up all the jobs that we think we sh you should be applying for once you've done the training. 
Um, you can have a look at the training. It's in the courses column. We do three different packages depending on how much support you want. But the secret is to all this to getting a job is being able to talk to the owner about how the mine works. When you can sit in an interview with a foreman and talk to them about what the expectations are going to be and, you know, if you're going for a truck driver's job, talk to them about loading bays and, you know, what the key thing for the bogger operator is going to be, getting in and out quickly and driving up the decline and what happens if your truck starts sliding down the decline and dumping your load on the ROM and dumping your load on the waste dump and all that sort of stuff. When you can talk to them about all that sort of stuff, that's what gets you the job because actually physically teaching you how to drive the truck only takes a couple of weeks. Teaching you everything else that you need to know so they can leave you alone in the truck to drive it by yourself, that's what everybody struggles with. So if you can already know that before you walk in the door of the interview on the first day, you know, you're six to eight weeks ahead of everybody else and that's how people get jobs. And you can see in our Wall of Fame page here, these are all the people that have gotten jobs using the training. There's lots. Um, yeah, you can go back through it. Uh, they all say the same thing. The reason they got the job was because they were able to talk to the employer about how the mine works. And that's the easiest way to get yourself a job. There's lots of work all over the country. You just got to give them what they want, somebody that knows how, um, how their mine works. So in the middle of New South Wales, you got a lot of copper and gold and they do drive in, drive out. The, um, the gold mines in Victoria are starting to fire up. There's base metal and gold mines in Tasmania that are looking for people at the moment. Up here in the north of Queensland, there's a lot of fly and fly out around the Brisbane area and also Townsville and Cairns. And um, South Australia's got the big copper mines, so Olympic Dam and all the old Oz Mineral sites that are now BHP sites and that Adelaide Hills mine that we already looked at. And then over here in WA, there's just work everywhere. Um, people that have done the training that have come to WA, especially to Calgary, have all got offered multiple jobs in the first weeks that they're there just purely because they know what's going on and they can be thrown in the deep end so i hope you found that information helpful today um yeah th that's where we're at with um the industry at the moment it's all about gold if people are telling you about the boom in shutdown work and all that sort of stuff you've missed the boat by a good eight years um today's boom is about gold mining and where the jobs that are paying money are the actual production mining jobs so they need people to drive trucks they need to people to be on service and pace crew they need to be people on charge up and in the loaders the boggers and are definitely on the jumbos drilling all the holes and putting the ground support in and agi drivers and shot creek sprayers and everybody else that's included in the underground crew they need they're desperate for everybody so if you've got a skill like that it's not too hard to make one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year on an even time roster especially when you get up into the top special you know you get into um, the senior roles and service crew and pace crew and beyond and you can see the um, progression and the pathway um, on our um, pay rates and rosters page. It runs through how the crew works and what everybody makes and how you move through the crew. So I hope you found that information helpful. And if you could share this video around and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks.